What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and today I want to do a quick video showing you guys how to list all the running services on your system that is managed by SystemD. First off, I wanted to give you a, a brief overview of what I exactly what I'm trying to show you guys. Um, I came from the Windows world, uh, Windows. I, I was a Windows systems admin, all that stuff. Well, anyway, there's a snap in that you can open up um, and it's all it's on the desktops as well. But it's under computer management where you can uh, open up uh, the services snap in and this will list all the services that are running on the system. These could be tied to applications or tied to the OS itself. Well, services like this are constantly running on the Linux uh, platform as well. And just to give you an overview of what the services are, they're basically processes or group of, or group of processes that are running in the background uh, waiting on user input. It could be something like the firewall, that's the service that runs in the background, uh, the network manager. Uh, that's the service that runs on the system and a lot of other system services that are uh, managed by uh, system D so I want to show you guys a way to list all that uh, using the command that actually uh, does this and I want to tailor it tailor this video towards uh, people that are using servers uh, because of course, with the desktop version of Linux, they do have GUI tools where you can look at all the services that way, and you can actually manage them all that way. But uh, everything I'm going to show you is done is done on a command line, so it's kind of tailored towards people that are running servers. So let's get started. Okay, so I already have my VM up and running. Uh, this is Manjaro, as you can see, uh, using the XFCE desktop. So the first thing I want to do is show you the command that uh, you use to uh, list all the services on the system. And it's basically system CTL. And this is how you manage the stuff as well. You can turn off services and all that. But um, I want to go to the man page first, just so you guys can see uh, exactly uh, how to actually run the command and just some information on on uh, some details on how to run it. Um, so as you can see, the um, system CTL control the system D system and service manager. Uh, system C CTL may be used to introspect and control the state of system D systems, system and service manager. Um, and it also says, please refer to the system D uh, man page or manual for an introduction on basic concepts, but uh, here are a few of the options So I'll and I'll show you uh, I'll, I'll do some examples on a lot of these options, but um, Anything that I don't cover you can always go back refer back to this man page and uh, you can get some more information on on whatever you're trying to do so I'm gonna quit this And let's clear the screen Okay, so I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see. Um, that should be good. All right, so the first way I want to run it is uh, just running the command by itself. So system CTL, and I always forget the S in here. I don't know. Uh, so as you can see, this is uh, kind of difficult to follow. I mean, if you, if you know what you're looking for, you can. You can pick up on it, but it also pulls in certain other things that uh, you may not want to look at. Like, um, for instance, uh, mount dot mount files, um, device files up at the top, um, scope. But what we're interested in is the services. So in order to filter that out, I want to go through and show you guys one of the options. Yeah, they got slice, uh, socket, and some of this stuff I don't even know what it is, to be honest. I have to do a little bit more research on it, but as you can see, this is a lot uh, to filter through. So, let me show you how to actually filter it out, filter out the services. So, 
uh, let's clear this and I want to run system CTL and what we want to look for is the type and the type is service so we is dash dash type equals service and this will break out all the services or just the services from that long list and as you can see it's still a little long not as long but you know that's all the services and just to show you a little bit uh, this is the accounts demon um, light DM die service that's a desktop uh, manager uh, LVM service uh, network manager like I said earlier uh, and these are some other uh, system services uh, system D services uh, and also this is another one UFW dot service and it gives you some information on what a description on what it is um, as you can see this disk manager right here so anyway that's how you filter out just the services now let's uh, get out of that and clear now there's another filter we can add to this so instead of just uh, system CTL type service we can filter this down even more so we can go dash dash state and and then we want that to equal to uh, whatever we're looking for so it could be active uh, I think the other one is exited or or something like that whatever uh, but I, I just want to look at the active uh, services because some services could be on there but they're not active um, so as you can see uh, it shows only the active services and then another way to filter this all the way down and actually let me quit well actually I'm gonna leave it up for a second but uh, as you can see there's a sub uh, category as well well we can actually filter on this as well using that same uh, uh, option. So let's quit this and then clear. And what I wanna see is, let's look at all the ones that are exited, just to make it a little, uh, you know, show, show you that the filter actually works. Uh, so we can go um, system CTL, space dash dash type equals service. And then on the state, we want to put exit that way we can see the, just all the exit and it will automatically go to that sub category that we can filter out so if we press enter on that as you can see it brings in all the active as well because I mean it won't be an exit if if it's not active uh, so um, with that being said you can filter and just show uh, exit so but this is a good way to check all your services. You know, if you have a server uh, and you can see the status of them, uh, if something was failed, it'll say failed in here. Uh, I don't have any failed services. Like this is a, a brand new uh, VM with, with nothing really on it. or it's So it's mainly just system services that come uh, set up on a system or activate it uh, when you do the installation just basic stuff that you need when you uh, install the OS so so that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys uh, if you have any questions about this please leave a comment down below I'm more than happy to help you and if you like the video please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to your boy uh, I'm gonna keep coming with these Linux videos I know it's been tough on me because I've been uh, I started a new job and I'm trying to get acclimated to it. Uh, so that's why I haven't been able to do many videos. But if you guys keep bearing with me, I'm going to keep push, pushing stuff out. Um, before the end of the year, I want to at least try to have 100 videos up uh, of all different Linux uh, content. So uh, just keep bearing with me. Uh, right now I got uh, 40, so I got about 60 more to go. But... As, you, as I always say at the end of every video, keep it tight.